versus Malfurion! I must protect the wild. Victory or death! Hey, I'm climbing 540 instead of 666. All right. I mean, we have we're super mini or super removal heavy. I feel like we're just gonna have to kill all, everything he plays, since we're not gonna be able to develop our own board anytime soon. It's hard to run out of weapon charges when you have this many. Gorehell, I don't love in a minion heavy deck. My deck is definitely minion heavy, top end wise. Gorehell, I kind of like more in like removal heavy decks. Ooh, that's a good draw. I guess I'm gonna set up for this death fight and just clear the death relic and roll in some stuff next turn. Mm, got a three donation from Casey Tron. Sorry, kept you up late last night and made you sleepy today. No probs. Actually, kind of puts me in a hard spot here. What kind of deck is he? Mounted Raptor, Living Root Shredder. It actually seems like he's some kind of aggro deck. So I kind of have to value my life. I'm not sure. I was originally playing on Acolyte Revenge, save the weapon charge in a way, because I can hit something for like five or six damage. But with this, I might just want to play both and swing. I was even thinking of just playing both. It's, at that point, though. I don't get the cycle against. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm still gonna attack. I still have Fire War Axe and Bash, so I can kill Big Man still. So just get some armor and some guaranteed cards. Kind of confirming my, my suspicions. Probably an aggro deck. The juicy card value. So we want to play for tempo, but like he's so. I don't know. I mean, he's got an almost no damage in so far. Nah, I'm gonna play the big game hunter. This does not seem like a normal druid at all. It's definitely an aggro druid. And I have two executes right now. I could just save my weapon use bash, but because we're gonna cycle as acolyte, if we waste three mana here, we might not be able to play Dr. Boom or I guess any minion we get. Bring the pain. Gotcha. <laughs> Also, if I knew I was going to get another weapon, definitely saving Bash is better. Because with two weapons, with the weapon and Bash, you can do like 7 to 1 minion and things like that. Although, that's not really going to happen because of the executes. But I guess what it means is like, I can kill two minions, like two mid-range minions. He messed up his hero power. He doesn't even get the hero power of the big game hunter. That's another reason why big game hunter is so good to play. He, he doesn't have a druid one to deal one damage anymore. So it seems like his hand's really heavy on combo or burn. Eventually, we need to find a way to armor up out of it. I mean, he's not getting anywhere. As long as I can stop myself from taking more minion damage, he's not going to be able to combo me down. Oh. Must not feel good to do that.
And there are plenty of revenges. How much health is, is it a swing? So let's say a revenge hero power. I save myself, I guess, save myself eight, gain two, so it's six. Whereas this way, I take eight, but heal. F wait, wait, wait. I get plus 10 this way and get 8 minus 4, 6. Is that a... I'm just gonna not respect the Fell Reaver. Because I get extra superhero power. So, I guess, I guess it costs me 6 life more than the other play, but. I also get to like potentially mill him more because I'm not killing it immediately. I'm getting one more turn in. Reporting for duty. Oh, okay, we can't play three cards, then. It's gonna have to be a bash execute. What now? I feel like if I don't get everything, I'm just gonna not play the bash, get an extra tank up. It's not that important to play the bash. Oh, I mean, I have more armor back tanking up. Another night on the prowl. Reporting for duty. I can take the hit. Reporting for duty. I guess I don't have minions. It's hard for me to win immediately, but I can kill every single card left in his deck, and he can't call him me a 40 life. So either way, this game's over. Reporting for duty. Yeah, you can't actually mill someone to fall over. It doesn't actually work. Once they go to zero, the like effect does nothing at that point. Garrosh versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Victory or death. Like, my thoughts with Secret Paladins is it's just the best deck as far as... Like, it's the strongest deck. I, I don't think there's... I don't think I, it's even... Like, I have a doubt in my mind that it's the strongest deck. And what I mean by the strongest deck is... It's like the, mo it's like the most influential deck. Like, everyone has to adjust the high-level metagame to Secret Paladins. So even if, like, at Legend, rank 1 Secret Paladin isn't the I best deck, that. it's because people have adjusted so much... Like, first of all, I think it's the best deck at just beating down, like, badly tuned decks and things like that, more so than probably anything else. And also, like, it, if people don't really tune against it, it, it seems much stronger, like at, say, rank 14 or something. Put this apple on your head. 
Mono ton. Uh. This doesn't really do anything, but it's kind of like a shield block or something. Kind of like. No, no, deals one damage juggler, saves myself three life, so. This is not a match where I'm holding cards. At least not in this situation. Also, the one damage is not useless if I'm gonna play Death Spite. Depending on what happens, I don't swing into juggler and I can swing next turn. I guess I like this more than Sludge Belcher. I have to use the coin for Sludge Belcher. This kind of sets up for the Whirlwind and the Execute. Also, kind of another thing about this play is if he's trying to rely on something to pop the egg, because right now most of his pressure is coming from eggs. Like sometimes you use eggs to play on AoE, sometimes you need them for pressure. Because I kill his only other minion, he kind of. This is a situation where he kind of needs the eggs for uh, pressure. Let's think about everything here. We all we almost want to revenge, like get into revenge range. It's gonna be hard. I feel like he has egg activators anyways, and I have AOE kind of. I'm gonna make I feel like I'm gonna make a really weird move. I kinda of don't like bashing, it gives me a lot of armor, and it doesn't really develop the board. I'm actually just not gonna attack here. Even though it's easy for him to say pop his eggs, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing when I have four health worth of whirlwind effects with revenge despite. And also, I'm just assuming if he's making this move, it's not even his only egg activator. Like even if I kill and play a minion, he'll still be able to activate his eggs. And we want to get to 12 and then like bash up to armor up after 12. Oh, I think this is going to just wreck him. I almost can't kill this, it's so annoying. I can't bash first. Oh well. I, 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 I it's just gonna have to be left up. And I can bash execute. Let's do this. My shield for Argus! I should have probably cleared board. I can clear board this turn though. Actually, I'm, I'm not really clearing the board, but. I really should have cleared the board next turn because I had the big game hunter. I was maybe thinking of like saving execute, like bash execute, it didn't seem that efficient, but I ended up doing it anyways. Put this apple on your head. And because I had an answer already for Dr. Boom or something. I need another revenge. Or Baron Geddon. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's fifteen life.
Eventually we can double armor with just the car. But I'd still rather get my fireworks developed as early as possible. Well played. Who dares summon me? I'm gonna give this deck more tries just because I feel like these games I can win. It's just like all so close and like barely dying. Like making a little bit of a miss misplays and stuff. And some of the moves are like kind of small things that like change the game a lot. I feel like even last game at the end, like even after all those things, I could have like suicided my armor smith before he used implosion and kind of like cleared his board with Buying double bash, <laughs> execute suicide armor smith. I almost feel like looking back at that, I would have won if I did that. a really good read on exactly what I'm playing against. I'm gonna actually kill the imp game boss, give him two imps here. Looking at my hand texture, I have a lot of like AoE stuff with Revenge, Baron Geddon. If he does the greedy, tr I guess like there's two trades he can do here. One is he just, I mean I'm assuming he's trading the two two and kill for free. Um, it sets his whole board up for a revenge. But if he does do the other trade, his board's gonna be quite weak so. Okay, it seems like this is actually Zoo. Revenge is actually a super important card against Zoo. We're, we're not gonna like go crazy on saving it, and if we don't have anything to do here, kind of like now, we'll probably still want to play it. I, I'm, I'm gonna play it for sure. We have uh, Sylvanas next turn, so clearing out all the 1 1s is gonna be super important this turn. So if we can like leave just an egg followed by, you know, non 1, it's hard for him to have 1 1s. Especially if he plays like things like M Gang and Void Caller and things like that. Someone called This is still fine for Sylvanas. How much power does he have? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 power. I feel like it's kind of hard to play shield main here. He might just have to brawl. Brawl probably removes around like 8 power on average. And that way I can progress the scheme into my future turns. Because if I play shield main like this while well, minions are trading, it's hard to get a clean get in. So these have two op like more options next turn as well. I can burn Geddon if it's good board, or I can shield main in probably shield slam if he plays like a big I minion. I can take the hit. That hurt me. That well, that was pretty bad for me. I probably want to bear get on turn nine if I can manage that and play fireworks. 
turn eight so I can set up for maybe like slam burn Geddon. Next turn we we have a lot of like kind of like spot removal, half removal options. Oh, I feel like that's a very good draw. We kind of want to get not get one shot. He has 16 on board. Let's think of some moves. Bash, armor, shield, slam. Slam. Start by slamming this. It's hard for me to just set up like where even though these guys don't die to revenge, I'm not really in revenge range. I can't just like not do anything and just let him kill me. Who dares me? Nice, lost the second doom guard. I actually still have options for clearing, but I'm at the risk like not dying one turn. I'm basically saying for Geddon Revenge for four. Actually, that's five, get in revenge, but I can't play both in the same turn, and we, we're definitely scared of getting one shot. Eight, nine, fourteen. This is... Twenty? So I need six damage here. If I armor up, he needs eight. I don't see it being that different. I'm not sure. The thing I was thinking of is whether I should develop the Fire War Axe, because I can't play all three of these next turn. I might need the Fire War Axe. I'm kind of like getting super close to dying though. Uh, I got a tarot nation from Anonymous. What do you do all day before streaming? Sometimes I, I, well, I wake up pretty late and I usually play some Hearthstone or League of Legends. Watch Netflix. Eat lunch. Wow, that top deck. This is still not 100% safe. I don't get to clear the last minion. I could still die, but I guess my best shot. He's not in good shape. I don't actually die here that often because two Doom Guards are gone. He needs to do five damage. Oh my god. I feel like I'm tuning the mi like minion heavy late game deck as about as well as I can against Zoon Paladin right now. There's like whole other variations of control where basically more based on removal, like double brawl, maybe even death lords, things like that. But I'm using double revenge, Baron get in one brawl. I think that's about as much as I can go. I don't even have Alex, so I have double shield main. But maybe that's not even better. Um, no, my record with this deck is 22 and 11.
Tranger X7, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crow Fist. Seems like this is Noble Sack based on what happened. No Venge, no Competitive, no Redemption, Repentance, or Noble Sack at that point. What now? Okay. She didn't coin out Mysterious Challenger. What we want to do this game is set up for a huge brawl or get in, but not this turn. Kind of like just keep dropping shield maidens until you'll, at some point I need to make one of those plays. And I got Tornation from Feisty Chip. Can you switch out a shield main for Alex? Can I get Crow Fist? I would say you can. S this is the card I kind of changed out. I had Alex in the deck originally. I put shield main in. I feel like it's definitely fine to put in Alex. It might even be better. Crow Fist. Thanks for your donation. Alright, this is too much. I'm gonna have to brawl, so. Let's go ahead and attack first. I'm pretty sure almost every situation we're gonna brawl here. Oh, wow. Okay. That works. I can still use this guy to get a noble sack as well. Pretty much my last use of this shield maiden. Actually, I might be able to use Death Spite for that and trade in. Yeah, that's right, because we have Baron Gen, so along with the revenge of the Death Spite, we can probably clear the board. What now? Can we actually make a move that shield main tank up here? Trades in. Not that good against Tyrion. No, it wasn't Noble Sack. Oops. I was competitive spirit, huh? I just totally bumped out for some reason. I was still thinking three turns ago. It worked out. <laughs> kind of. I guess it's fine. Good sign he didn't Tyrion. Tyrion's actually like hard to deal with still. Zalgo, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. This actually could have been Gunbay Spirit. I, was, I guess I never had a 100% on it. Put your faith in the light. Reporting for duty. So I'm going to get the 7-6 going against Ashbringer instead of the chill main. It's important for me not to lose my guy to the weapon Follow if I can avoid it. Reporting for duty. We kind of do want to dump our hand for Divine Favor. Don't really need to save this. Should be fine. The moment we can get like a Baron Geddon where maybe he doesn't have an Ashbringer, we can win like that. Otherwise, I feel like he's still 
won't win. This I've already dealt with this Tyrion, and his weapon isn't enough to kill me. I don't have this much health, so I still have BGH for Doctor Boom. It's like his last threats are one Boom and one other mysterious challenger, I guess. But the last mysterious challenger isn't going to be as scary. Did he attack me in the face again? No, no, he traded for Grom. What now? Let's see if we can save Geddon for after this weapon charge. And I can definitely afford to just take the hit because this is zombie chapter. I get more healing. I could have cleared the whole board of Baron Geddon, but it, it would have still died Ashmer or so. Now he's out of this charge. So if I can just get a burnt gun on empty board, I should win. <coughs> Somehow I ended up 30 life against like an entire Tyrion. His secret pound has a lot of weird stuff. Put this apple on your head. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. I have no time for games. I actually was thinking about it because of Sludge Belcher number two. I mean, his deck is running a little bit different than the normal. And it seems like he has a little bit more control cards. It's not really that unlikely as Sludge Belcher number two. I was thinking about attacking the knife jugger with the weapon. It's just I don't really set him in lethal range. And it also solve more situational cards. So like say he runs like a second equality or maybe his answers for these guys, like Ultimate Elder Peacekeeper. If I don't hit his face, I don't have lethal with the weapon. If he solves the answers for the minions. Yeah. 